Hey everybody, welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be discussing direct and indirect conversion digital radiography, also known as DR. Direct and indirect conversion digital radiography are different from computed radiography in that they do not use cassettes or standalone cassette readers. Additionally, the image processing step follows the image acquisition, immediately converting the radiographic image into digital data without an operator's involvement. Computed radiography requires the extra step to extract the latent image from the cassettes. So by eliminating these extra steps, digital radiography systems are faster and can produce higher quality images than computed radiography. DR acquires X-ray images in one of two ways, either using direct conversion, which converts X-rays to electronic signals, or indirect conversion, which converts X-rays to visible light and then to electronic signals. First, let's talk about direct conversion, DR. Direct conversion DR systems use a photoconductor made of amorphous selenium and a thin film transistor array, otherwise known as a TFT array. The DR image receptor is made up of a matrix of very small detector elements, or DELs. Each DEL contains a capture element, a storage capacitor, and a TFT switch. When a direct conversion DR system is in use, a voltage is applied to the top surface of the detector just before the exposure is made. The X-ray beam then interacts directly with the amorphous selenium, causing the selenium atoms to release electrons, creating an electronic charge. Storage capacitors in the DELs collect the charge. After the exposure, the TFT switches release the electrical charges from the individual DELs to the analog to digital converter, which converts them to a digital signal used to produce the digital image. So direct conversion DR systems use a process which converts X-rays directly into an electronic signal. Because direct conversion DR systems skip the step of converting X-rays to visible light, they have higher image quality than other systems. Direct conversion DR systems are mostly used in mammography. This is for two reasons. First, the higher image quality allows for better visualization of microcalcifications. Second, the amorphous selenium detectors cannot be produced large enough for use in general radiography. Next, let's talk about indirect conversion DR. The essential difference between direct and indirect conversion DR systems is that indirect systems first convert the invisible X-ray photons into visible light photons, which are then converted to an electrical signal. Indirect conversion DR systems can be placed in one of two categories, one that uses charged coupled devices called CCDs or one that uses TFTs. In both types of indirect conversion DR systems, there is a scintillation layer made up of either cesium iodide or gadolinium. First, let's discuss CCD systems. In the CCD system, the scintillation layer is coupled to each CCD sensor chip either by lenses or fiber optics. When the X-ray photons strike the scintillation layer, they are converted into light photons. Because light is emitted isotropically, light photons are spread out in all directions, which causes blur and reduces spatial resolution. Cesium iodide is the preferred material for scintillation layers because it can be formed into very small needles or columns. The column shape helps to focus the light photons, which then improves the spatial resolution of the radiographic image. After the X-ray photons are converted into light photons, the CCD sensor chips convert the light photons into electrical signals. Those electrical signals are then sent through an analog to digital converter, which sends the converted digital signal to a computer for processing. Now let's move on to TFT systems, which also use the scintillation layer, just like the CCD systems, but they have additional elements. After the scintillation layer, there is a photodiode layer, made up of amorphous selenium and then a TFT array. Again, when X-ray photons strike the scintillation layer, they are converted into light photons. The photodiode layer converts the light photons into an electrical signal that is transferred to the TFT array, 
From there, the TFT array sends the electrical signal to an analog to digital converter to produce a digital signal, which is then sent to a computer for processing. Both CCD and TFT indirect conversion DR systems are used in general purpose radiography, and TFT indirect conversion DR systems are typically used in angiography and fluoroscopy. Both types of indirect conversion DR systems cost less than direct conversion DR systems. It is also easier to repair and replace parts on indirect conversion DR systems. However, that extra step of converting X-ray photons to light reduces spatial resolution. So in summary, there are two main types of DR systems, direct conversion and indirect conversion. Direct conversion DR systems directly convert X-ray photons into electronic signals. Indirect conversion DR systems are either CCD systems, which consist of a scintillation layer coupled with a CCD sensor chip either by lenses or fiber optics, or TFT systems, which consist of a scintillation layer, a photodiode layer, and a TFT layer. Direct conversion DR systems have higher spatial resolution than indirect conversion DR systems, but are more expensive. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.